Hey guys, guys, this is Bear Killer Seven Seven Mitch. And so it's a quick note, if you hear any noises, it's because there's work being done on our basement here. I'll say it's, it's being redone and everything. So yeah, you might hear some noises, banging, whatever, I can't control it. And I've pretty much been, you know, working all week and I'm off finally today, so I have to put up with it, unfortunately. So yeah, if you hear any noises in the background, like that one, then, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. So, anyway, I, I wanted to show you guys um, my new music player I bought. It's called a iPod Classic, and I bought it off Amazon with some stuff with it. You see, manual. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a big I'm a music collector, mostly Christian, you know, I worship, I have all these music, but, um, and it came with this, uh, what is this called, a manual? This just came with this little dinky manual, um, and then it came with a pair of headphones, as you can see, but if you have my computer, you know, I got my own headphones of course if I'm not on my computer I can use these or I have like three other sets of headphones I have and then I bought with it some accessories so there's like multiple things in here it has a uh, these are some cases for some other iPods which I don't have it, it just has like a bundle so Prince just buy it for one and then it'll work for any of them Another thing for earbuds. Uh, there's a car charger, and as you can see, there's like a bunch of other stuff in there. This one goes into the wall, I think. And then this one, it's a USB charger, cable. I have another pair of headphones in here. Um, and then there's some other things in here. I don't know what this does, it does something else. And then this does something else too. And so it has all this stuff I just that came with it was like fifteen or twenty and then the iPod is a lot more itself. Um I got one of the cases on it right now and then it has this other case which I kinda like. It's like looks like a wallet almost, except you can put your iPod in this uh thing here and you know, hook it up. So it's hooked up to the computer right now, so what it what it looks like is like this. So, so it's pretty much as you can see this the clear plastic case on it right now. Um which I kinda like this one a lot because you know you can if it falls down or something, you you it will uh see there's my web camera. There's the back of it. I I think you could if you pay extra money you get your name on the back of these things, but I didn't. I don't think I want to do that because I already paid a lot of money for this, more than probably what most people do. But it's a 160 gig. As you can see here, it says it's connected. It means it's connected to the computer. So let me uh, let me disconnect it. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Just gotta answer this text. Um, sorry, this is just too much right now, too much going on, just going to mute that for a minute, okay, as you can see here it says, it says on the software i2 sync is complete, eject before disconnecting, so then there's an eject button, and then I hit the eject, and then it should say on the front of it, it's okay to disconnect. So that means it's charged, or if it shows like that picture of the three thingies or whatever. And then if it's charging, it'll like flash or something. So, let me disconnect it. I can, uh, oh, did it reconnect? Okay. Give it a minute here. My 
phone still going off, so get back to these people later because I'm trying to make a video. So pretty much it looks like this. You got your menu here. This is to forward through the different uh, tracks. This is to play and pause. Whoops, I, I hit the. You see, you see, I can. I have podcast already on here. I think you can add video. Um, I think I got something on there. I don't know what I got. Christian Stanfill thing from Caleb.com. Like a video, Lord, I got or something. And then here. See, there's one of my albums, Casting Crowns. I think I pushed the center button here to show you guys. So pretty much this is my music collection right here. I added all of them. It took me a while to get through all of them. And then add, I had to add the cover work for some of these albums. So some of these worship albums that iTunes didn't recognize. Some of them, it, most of them it did luckily. So I, I had to... Uh, manually update some of these which took me like a couple hours to get through all of them and then uh, as you can see here I pretty much got a lot of stuff this is one of my favorite albums Hello Love by Chris Tomlin This is the new F Passion album right here. It's like one of my favorites. And then you can see here, you can scroll through the various tracks and so forth. This is, uh, here's some other s other stuff basically, you know. Uh, worship music, and I have everything from worship music. Some oldies on here. Um, I have some other stuff from like, you know, video games and stuff, just other stuff. Um, there's some sermons up there as you saw. Uh, classical music, um, here's some oldies music by the way. Pretty much have all the, all the Beatles albums. Um, they're on here somewhere. You can pretty much do like a search on here, I don't know how to do it now, but... It says on the thing for this, this is, gets like 40 hours or something like that, the 36 to 40 hours worth of of playtime, so I don't even know if I have that much music, but I think I have, let's see here, I think it tells me how much music I have actually, somewhere, I just don't know which button to push, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, but yeah, this is my new iPod, and I heard this is like one of the most commonly stolen devices. Don't worry, I'm gonna watch this like a hawk when I use it, bring it with me or whatever, and put it in my backpack and you know make sure I have it. Um, I haven't seen the video quality on this, so I'm gonna. Oh, you can also put movies on this, by the way, too, which I thought was really cool. Which, you know. I thought it was just MP3 player and I saw it and I know you can post a movie on this and I got one on here which I don't know if this has I don't think this has sound by itself but it can get up to like six hours worth of movie with it fully charged so or if you have a video um, you have to convert it to the right format though as you can see that's the the one I downloaded You guys can't hear it because it's uh it's it's on the um it's plain but this doesn't have you know speakers or whatever. Um so I guess I could hook it up to a pair of speakers just to show you guys what it what it sounds like. It's it's like really really nice. Uh, hello there by the way. Sure. So I what I was sitting behind. Okay, I got a pair of speakers here, hooking up to the iPod device. Whoops, there goes uh, something. Sorry, it's got too much stuff out right now. Uh, 
pretty much I think you can buy speakers with it, but I already luckily I already got some stuff sitting around. So I don't really need much on this. Although my car doesn't have a uh I think you have to buy a special cable or something for the car to hook it to the stereo set because the one I have it doesn't look like you can just plug in an iPod but I'm not 100% sure uh, I have a lot of audio cables in my room I could you know check to see or leave a comment somebody let me know hey this will work in your car stereo or you have to look it up I'll probably have to look it up or something because I have no idea if it will work because um, I'd like to you know put this in my car too if I'm driving somewhere long distance or whatever or even to work and I want to listen to my music I can um, of course I can bring this to work and listen but okay so let's see if I can get this to play that movie again because I hook it hooked up to this uh, this speaker is here. I don't know if this will work or not. I'll try this before. So as you can see, the sound is not very loud on here. Um, I have to probably go through and, and turn this up or something. I'm not exactly sure what I need to do on this one. Let's see here. I'm going to turn up the volume. It's have a volume limit so that when you plug it into a pair of headphones like I'm wearing or whatever, it doesn't get too loud. But I can't hear it now with this uh, speaker. Uh, you can turn it up to you can turn it up I'm gonna turn it up all the way see if that fixes the problem and then I can turn it down later you know okay so you have to go back to movies sorry I just wanted to show you guys this is really neat that was just a cool thing pretty much from Passion 2013 and I was there, um, if you're wondering. So, I'm going to have to go back and turn down the sound because otherwise I'll be deaf when I have to have that out on later. I can bring this with me later, by the way, because I am I got it to work. So yeah, I can pretty much hook this up to my speakers in my room. And it has a shuffle feature, which means it will do that with your music. It will shuffle it around, so to speak, and it will play it at random. So I have no idea what it'll pick. I could pick like a oldies or and I think you can also set like a playlist so like I can choose I don't think I set it up yet for a playlist, but you can uh do songs or a search and then you can do it by a playlist. This also has the most twenty five top played on here. It'll tell you the most twenty five so like I have uh, on there already some worship music, Lord Our God, more I just played, and then my phone's still going off. I can wait though. Here's another song I like, Matt, Matt Remnan. Yeah, pretty much I can you know play anything I want on here, or another one I really like. Where have I gone? 
also you can put an alarm on this so if I want to wake up to this song at a certain time I can really neat and then um, and that's just the 25 most played um, and also I don't know there's some genius features so I don't know I have to play this genius feature play songs on your iPod that go great together you can start from the now playing screen or choose a song you like and hold down the center button to bring up the genius option so I haven't touched that yet because I have no idea what that does other than what I've just read to you guys so and other one of my favorite songs is um, Cornerstone by Hillsong United Sounds like that. You can look it up on YouTube. So there's that. Um, you know, there's just a bunch of stuff I, I don't have time to show you guys. Everything I have. And then some of my other favorites I like. You know, the Passion songs. And then uh, I have everything from Third Day, Michael W. Smith stuff. I oh, Another one I like is the new Hillsong United album called Zion. Um, you know, that's one of my favorites. And my favorite one from there is either Relentless or Scandal of Grace. Uh, both good songs. And then I like their interlude song they have. So I'll play, yes, the interlude. Let's play that one. It's like not really a song, it's just between tracks. Oh, it's kind of a cool, like, beat to it, you know? I uh, know the construction's kind of ruining the song now, huh? So yeah, that's that's pretty much my music player, guys. Um, so yeah, leave feel free to comment if you guys figure out the other thing I was trying to figure out earlier. You know, what does this feature do? I don't know what it does. It says it. I read what it does, but I don't know. It's genius. So any Mac people out there, you can let me know what, what this does, because honestly, I have no idea. Okay, guys, uh, God bless. Have everyone has a good weekend. You know, if I don't uh, see you a while, for a while or whatever, um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much a blessing from God to have this, you know, play. I'm, I'm going to put my audio Bible on here pretty soon, and uh, we play everything on, you know, including my audio Bible. Alright, uh, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching.